Hello everyone again, um, I'm back with another video, um, another game week prediction video, um, well yeah let's just get straight into it, we've got Nottingham Forest and Tottenham Hotspur, now Tottenham have got, have been out of form recently, since they lost Madison really, um, but I, I can't see them. I can't see them losing to Nottingham Forest because they I think Tottenham are like a top team, but I don't think they can beat like the big teams at the moment until they've got good, their main players back, like Ben Tancor and Madison. Um, and yeah, so I, I still think they can win two one, two one to Tottenham. Next is Newcastle and Fulham, uh, which is a game tomorrow. Um, so, Newcastle, there's nothing really you can say about Newcastle. They're a good team. So, I can see them beating Fulham 1 0. Because, well, Fulham have been on form actually. They beat the last two teams they played 5 0, both matches. But I can see Newcastle putting up a fight and I can see them pulling a 1 0 victory. Uh, next we have Chelsea and Sheffield United. Now, Nkunku, he's been confirmed to be back from injury. So, I can see him making an impact if he comes on as like a sub in like the 65th minute of the game. Um, I can see him getting, getting a goal, hopefully, on his first game back from injury. Um, so, I would say 3-0. 1-0 Chelsea. Yeah, 1-0. Um, next is Bournemouth Luton. Now, Luton and Bournemouth are both relegation battle at the moment. Uh, so, I don't know, but I think I can see Luton getting a 1 0 win out of that game. I can't see them scoring many goals in that game, but I think they can get 1 0. 1 0 out of that. Uh, next, Man City Crystal Palace. Um, well, it's going to be tough. For Man City because they've been off form, um, so I will say Man City will get a one 0 victory. One 0 victory. Uh, yeah, next we have Burnley Everton. Now Everton have been doing very well, very well recently. So I will say they will get a two 0 win. Two 0 win. Uh, then we have. Um, Sunday games where we have um, Brentford and Aston Villa so Aston Villa have been very very good this season um, now that's not biased either. they have actually been like an unbelievable team this season um, but not very good away record so they ha do have uh, Brentford away Um and they have, as I said, been struggling away matches. So, I can still see them getting a win. But only by a one goal difference. So, I could see a 2-1 win for Aston Villa away. Um, anyway, next we have Arsenal and Brighton. Now, Arsenal have been good Brighton have been like don't don't I wouldn't say bad, but they haven't been good either. So I'd say they I, I could see Arsenal getting a two 0 win out of that game because um, Brighton are at um, the Emirates anyway, so it's away for Brighton, so it'll be a struggle because Arsenal are a very very good team. So, yeah, anyway, next we have West Ham and Wolves. Now, West Ham are at home, which could be a big impact, could make a big impact on the game. So, I'm going to say West Ham 2, Wolverhampton Wanderers 1. Um, but, yeah, the, here's the big game now, probably the biggest game of the week. Um, Liverpool and Manchester United. Now, the last time these two teams played, um, Liverpool 
scored an unbelievable amount of goals. So I could see Liverpool getting 5 0 win out of that game. But now everybody's saying that um, Liverpool's going to win. Um, Man United might put all the pressure on and put their like their best team forward, eleven behind, eleven men behind the ball, and play defensive football, and then maybe have a few attacks. So I can see um, Liverpool winning five 0 but I can still see Man United putting up a fight but not scoring any goals. So yeah, that has been it for today's video and um, today's match week video and I will see you next time. Bye!